need to talk. I'm super busy. Please. You haven't been busy in 2,000 years. It's about Ted uh, Cruz. Who? Ted Cruz. Really, you don't know him? Never heard of him. <laughs> Honestly, I've never envied you more. Ted Cruz is a foreign-born, Hispanic immigrant, national health care baby, whose faith is Christian, that is against Hispanic immigrants, foreigners, national health care, and the Christian faith. Oh, and his own first name? Dying again to know. It's Raphael. Why? I don't know. Jesus, for some reason. Foreign sounding names don't test well with Trump supporters. Just ask Nimrata Randawa. Uh, who? You may know her as Nikki Haley. Why do these people do this? <laughs> well, probably for the same reason Americans gave you, a Middle Easterner, a free Scandinavian makeover, dear. Ted Cruz is Canada's most vicious export. Mm -hmm. I did check. Their returns policy is appalling. Worse than yours. What is it? I need for you to prevail upon Ted to stop calling himself a Christian. It's ruining it for the rest of us. Since when does he listen to me? <laughs> True, but it's worth a try. I'm hoping that this will be the first time he listens to anything you say. Huh. Well, let me tell you about this Canadian Christian Cretan then. Well, a genuinely abhorrent human being he isn't really a stupid one. He just plays one on TV. And well, Cruz went to Princeton and then Harvard. His wife went to some fancy university in Europe. And then also Harvard and is a wealth manager at New York City-based Goldman Sachs. Oh, by the way, the Cruises are very much against East Coast elites. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say something nice about him. You might as well ask me to fly. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have something. Ted managed to accomplish a seemingly impossible achievement. He became the American Senate's most hated member. Think about that. The Senate. A place where the instantly hateable Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul work. Being the Senate's least favorite member is like being Donald Trump's least favorite hemorrhoid. <laughs> or child. <laughs> right, or child. <laughs> yes, tomato, tomato. Democrat Al Franken once said, I like Ted Cruz more than most of my other colleagues like Ted Cruz. And I hate Ted Cruz. Republican Lindsey Graham, figuratively washing his hands, said if you killed Ted Cruz on the floor of the Senate, no senator would convict you. So, in this deeply divided country, hating Ted Cruz is the only thing we can get bipartisan agreement on. Now, I'm not saying Ted Cruz never tells the truth. It's just that on those few occasions he does, he always walks it back. It's the political equivalent of the walk of shame, only without anyone ever wanting to see you naked. <laughs> Once upon a time, Ted said that Donald Trump is a pathological liar, serial philanderer, and in business with the mob. False witness detected. Yes, all of Cruz's statements were 100% true, Jesus. And yes, it was a fabulous novelty. So, with his usual maturity, Donald retaliated by insulting the appearance of Ted's wife. And in that chivalrous way of Ted's, it was days, whole days, before Ted groveled and forgave Donald on national TV. Because the one thing Mr. Cruz values over Mrs. Cruz's honor is Mr. Cruz's ambition. This set the stage for more recent, humiliating walkbacks. Now, Ted denounced the January 6th coup attempt as a terrorist attack, a bit of a surprise since it was a terrorist attack he had actively encouraged. Believe the election that just occurred, quote, was rigged. Even the mob ransacking the Senate, well, name-checked his endorsement. I think Cruz would want us to do this. I know. No, this wasn't Ted's first foray into trying to undermine American democracy. Back in 2000, Ted was part of the team that got Florida to stop counting the votes so that activist judges on the Supreme Court could let the loser move into the White House. 
George W. Bush repaid this successful scam by mocking the Uriah Heap-like crews. Instead of Ted, Bush would derisively call him Theodore. But after January 6th, when everyone became so appalled by such a lawless fiasco, and the DOJ and House started to look into its causes, notorious invertebrate Ted Cruz suddenly thought it best to distance himself from himself and call it a terrorist attack. Yes, Jesus, of course, Ted's remark is true. Again, let us take a moment to revel in this fleeting novelty, for fleeting it was. Tucker Carlson. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, he is <laughs> a big one. Simply criticized Ted for speaking that inconvenient utterance. And once again, Ted collapsed quicker than a Trump erection. Mm -hmm, well, you're the one who told me that. <laughs> Suddenly, Ted said that calling the January 6th coup a terrorist attack was just sloppy wording. Yes, because people who clerk for the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court are notorious for their careless use of words. I do not believe that you use that accidentally. I just don't. So sloppy that Ted had used those very same words at least 17 times before being caught by Tucker. But Ted Cruz is used to acting anyway each night's script requires. He was, after all, the president of his high school drama club. He appeared in The Sound of Music. Which role? I'm guessing Rolf. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's certainly no virgin when it comes to ridiculous public performances. When he was acting as an attorney for Texas, he supported the state's ban on dildos. <clears throat> Which is odd, as he is one. <laughs> for who else would abandon his constituents when they are freezing and without water? to enjoy poolside drinks at a $500 a night Ritz-Carlton. Some Twitter troll against elites, I guess. <laughs> and that isn't the worst of it. Ted abandoned his dog in the ice storm. What? Yes. No. Yes. Left all alone in a house that might soon be without heat. Exactly. Only a truly evil person would do that. And it is for this reason, Jesus, I am asking you to get Theodore to stop calling himself a Christian. Why? Because it's embarrassing. To whom? Well, I would think mainly to you. But it's also really hurting the brand. And after four years of evangelicals worshipping Donald Trump, it's pretty much on its last legs anyway.